Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a knife video for you. Today we are looking at the Max Ace Beetle S. And this is a gorgeous knife, guys. I, I don't know, you know, maybe it's just me, but I find this to be very, very attractive in terms of uh, the design and just the overall look of this, the, you know, the, the shape of the blade, the, the handle, and even the white and with the titanium bolster, just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Now, this is not what I normally have on the channel. This is a slip joint. Uh, we'll talk about the action in a second. It's also a little smaller. So size and weight on this seven and a half inches overall, three and five sixteenths. The blade uh, is the blade length. The, uh, Closed length is four and three sixteenths. Okay, so uh, you know, very uh, fair. I mean, fairly short, fairly comfortable in pocket. Three and three quarter inches of grip area, which is better even than a lot of much larger knives. So that is something I'm very happy to see. Now this is a hefty little guy. It weighs in at four point five ounces, which is, I mean, that's not a heavy amount of weight, but for a knife of this size, that is a little overly. Um, thick. All right. Um, the other thing that stands out, so I guess we should sort of just do a quick rundown of features and materials. So up front, we have an M390 blade with a beautiful satin finish nail nick for opening. Yes, this is a slip joint if I hadn't mentioned it already. Okay. So we have a slip joint here. The blade stock on this is very, very thin. All right. Now, as a gentleman's folder, is that a big deal? No, I think that's absolutely fine. Uh, but I do think it's thin enough that that's something you would have to for, keep in mind in use, right? Like you've got to know when I'm using this knife, I've got to pay a little bit of attention of what I'm do to what I'm doing with it, uh, because the blade is very thin stock. All right, it is M390, which is great steel, has uh, decent toughness, very good edge retention, very good stainless qualities, all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, it's, it, you know, it's not, I'm not complaining about the blade whatsoever, but just kind of be aware of, of that fact. All right. It is on phosphor bronze washers and the action on this. All right. In terms of uh, walk and talk, I don't know, maybe it has a stutter step or something because it uh, has four sort of quarter stops. Now the quarter stops are not full, right? See how the See how the spring is still up a little bit where when you get to the full half stop, it's fully engaged that spring again. And then uh, there's the fourth point or the third point. And then finally, when it's fully open and it does open with a lot of authority, there's quite a bit of tension on that back spring, which is good in a slip joint. You know, I'd prefer not to have a knife close on my fingers. I don't know about you guys. So you definitely want something that's a little firmer. All right. And you can see, let me just demonstrate, you know, sort of a one finger close here. You know, you can see I'm definitely noticing all of those stops. And if you try to be really quick about it, you know, you still notice. All right. Um, so it is pretty snappy in terms of, you know, snapping into place. And let's do the close. Uh, after that last stop, it does pop down pretty, uh, pretty nicely. All right. Uh, Torx construction, all right? And it, actually, this is nice. All of these Torx um, screws are a little bit bigger. They look like, uh, I'm going to go with probably eights all the way along. Uh, they might even be tens. That's pretty cool. Uh, my first impression on this knife is, yeah, beautiful gentleman's folder. All right. Uh, you know, I, I'm not usually a guy that goes in for fancier knives. I mean, I have some and I enjoy them, but, uh, and I'm not a guy that goes in for slip joints at all, but I just found this design so compelling that I really had to get this in hand and check it out and, and spend some time with it. Um, beautiful knife, beautifully done. So, uh, that's my initial thought on the Beetle S, you know, this is a knife I would think of carrying maybe to a wedding or when I know I'm not going to, um, not going to need anything heavier duty. Um, it would also be nice as sort of a secondary carry, you know, drop it in your pocket, uh, drop it in, you know, I've, I carried it around in the coin pocket in my 511s and it worked pretty well. So, 
um, that was just, you know, for like an hour today while I was getting ready to make this video, but it did, did fit fine. And, you know, I thought it worked out all right. Anyway, uh, I don't want to belabor this first impressions. I will come back with a full review and discussion for you after I've had some time to use this and carry it a bit. Um, and maybe at that time I'll reflect a little further. Obviously there's no clip on this, so I'll, I'll probably reflect a little bit on, you know, how I enjoy carrying a knife that doesn't have a clip that just drops into the pocket. And of course it being a slip joint and, and some of that other stuff, all things that I'm not really used to. All right. So there you go, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want one of these, head on over to White Mountain Knives. Use my discount code Sharp Stuff. I can't promise that they have some. I, I I will admit this took a long time to get here. I'm in Canada. Actually, let's let's add this. Sorry, guys. I thought I was done. You thought I was done, but I do have to say one more thing. Um, this knife took a long time getting in. So for those of you who are Canadian viewers, um, this knife was not inspected by customs. All right. It just went to customs, was sidetracked from shipping and just had to pass through customs. And just that process of being received from, you know, the U S side and being passed on to Canada post took almost a month, like 20. Yeah. I, I, this was put in the mail October 4th and I didn't get it till November 1st. All right. Uh, so this, that's a long, long wait. And it, this was not even inspected. So just to give you guys a heads up, if you're waiting for something to come into Canada, it could be a long wait. They must have a bit of a backlog or something because this took a long, long time. Uh, being a slip joint, of course, there's no issues in terms of legality or even a question about it. In fact, that doesn't matter to CBSA anyway. They, they just like to take knives. But uh, this one was not even inspected. So that did not that that wasn't the reason for the holdup. It just took really long. All right. Sorry for that little extra guys, but I just wanted to, you know, give you guys a heads up. And even if you're in the U S and you've shipped something to Canada, it could be a while because it seems like the border is a little bit backed up right now. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.